Greetings, one and all. On Wednesday the 31st of January, the Elite Ice Hockey League's new and improved Department of Player Safety, or DOPS for short, handed out its latest batch of suspensions to players around the league who broke the league's rules. It seemed like just another day at the office for the DOPS, with the usual two or three game suspensions that you see every other week handed out. However, one suspension really stood out from the crowd this week. Hidden amongst the list of suspensions was a 20-game suspension given to Milton Keynes Lightning player Matt Nickerson during a game between the Lightning and the Guildford Flames. A 20-game suspension? Really? I had to read it twice to make sure I actually read that properly. Wow, it, it does say 20 games. He must have done something really bad to warrant missing the rest of this season and then some for what he did in that game. Then I watched the video provided by the DOPS of what Nickerson actually did, and I completely, 100% understand the length of this suspension. As you can see in the video of the incident playing now, there is a scrum in front of the net after a stoppage of play, with each player finding a dance partner to do the post-whistle shuffle with. Nickerson jumped off the lightning bench to get involved in the proceedings, which he isn't actually allowed to do, but as he goes to join the fun, he is held back by a referee, who wishes to keep him away from an altercation he has no place being a part of as he was on the bench. Nickerson then proceeds to try and resist his restraint, and he pulls himself away from the referee's control. Nickerson then skates towards a Guildford Flames player and gives him a push aimed for his head, Something else that he isn't allowed to do, especially after the play has stopped dead and the referees are trying to keep both combatants apart. The referees then say that enough is enough and eject Nickerson from the game. It is here that the worst part of Nickerson's whole temper tantrum takes place. As he walks off the ice after being ejected from the game by the officials, Nickerson is heckled at by a Guildford Flames fan on his way to the tunnel. And in response to what he heard... Nickerson proceeded to punch the fan in the face and walk off through the tunnel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. Nickerson punched a fan in the face. As you can imagine, this kind of behaviour didn't sit well with the league. Due to being a repeat offender and due to the severity of his actions, Nickerson was given a six-game suspension under the category of abuse of an official for his breaking free of a referee's restraint. And then Nickerson was given a further 14-game suspension for his engagement and punching of a spectator of the game, which brought his total suspension to 20 games. The Milton Keynes Lightning cannot dress an import in place of Nickerson for the six-game abuse of official ban, but they can dress a replacement import for the 14-game engaging with a spectator ban. Less than a day after the suspension was handed out, an update came to this story when the Milton Keynes Lightning announced yesterday that they had released Nickerson from his contract with the team. This followed similar examples from teams that terminate a player's contract after a hefty suspension is given to them. The most recent that comes to mind is of course Andre DeVoe of the Sheffield Steelers after his six-game suspension and subsequent dismissal earlier this season. Now, my response to this whole situation is rather heated. It's a lot more opinionated and clearly on one side of the fence compared to my usual responses to videos like these. I'm usually very balanced and present both arguments fairly, but this situation is different. To be brutally honest, I am absolutely disgusted by what Nickerson did, both to the official and the Guildford Flames fan, and this suspension is completely deserved, if not too generous on Nickerson's part. This sort of unacceptable behaviour is what gives our sport of hockey such a bad name and it stunts the growth of the sport in the UK. Punching a fan who has paid for a ticket to watch a hockey game and paid to be a spectator is completely disgraceful. Sure, we don't know what the fan said to Nickerson and it could have been something absolutely horrible, but nothing he said warrants a professional hockey player to backhand him in the face. As all hockey players know, when a fan buys a ticket and sits in their seat, they will heckle the players as much or as little as they want. That is part of the fan experience. Every hockey player knows that heckling from a fan is part of the game and part of their job as a player to withstand. If you don't like it, find a different job. Part of being a professional athlete is not responding to what the crowd has to say about you. All the action and the emotion and the adrenaline should be left out on the ice where it belongs. Not on the way to the tunnel, and it definitely shouldn't be left in the side of that fan's face that you punched. 
There have been several players this season who have acted in a similar way to Nickerson, such as Andre DeVoe when he was still around with Sheffield, and Jay Rosehill for Manchester. But keeping them around the Elite Ice Hockey League and letting them continue to play will do nothing more than harm everyone involved, except the person that actually committed the act and basically got away with it with a slap on the wrists and a few games break. If the EIHL is trying to make a name for itself in the hockey world, if it's trying to rival some of the bigger leagues in Europe, it can't have players like this so prevalent throughout the league, as it gives the league a bad reputation. The Elite Ice Hockey League shouldn't be the dumping ground for the world's hockey goons. Most of these players have been thrown out of other, more talented leagues around the world for a reason. Just because no other league wants them, doesn't mean we need them. We don't need these type of players to enjoy the sport. Let the skill and the speed do the talking, not the fists. This isn't the 1970s anymore. Line brawls and signing a player just to fight. That doesn't happen anymore because it's outdated. And if we continue to keep players like this around, we are showing just how backward the Elite Ice Hockey League is compared to the rest of the hockey world. Now don't get me wrong, I like a hockey fight as much as the next person, but I like my hockey players to actually know how to play hockey as well. In today's game, if you want to be a successful player and run a successful team, you can't give up a roster spot to an enforcer who can't play the game to a relatively solid standard, even in the Elite Ice Hockey League, or so I thought. Also, the EIHL is a tiny league in comparison to other sports in the UK. If the league is trying to do its best to get more bums on seats in every arena and be promoted by bigger news sources, this isn't the best way to do it, guys. We want casual fans to hear about Nottingham or Cardiff's performance in the Champions Hockey League or Sheffield's performance in the Continental Cup. But because the media loves to criticise and it loves a good scandal, the popular news outlets report on face-punching Nickerson instead. This kind of negative press gives our sport, the sport I love better than any out there, a bad reputation. Being known as a sport filled with thugs and goons when that isn't the case. The EIHL has some talented players with plenty of skill to show. Make that be the reason people tune in and fall in love with the game, not this nonsense. Not the punching of the fans or the arguing with the referees. Now in terms of Nickerson being terminated by the Lightning, I honestly couldn't be happier. Not because Nickerson is out of a job, because you never want to see that, but because a bold move like this can help to change the mentality of the Elite Ice Hockey League's teams. It shows that teams no longer want face-punching goons on their roster, and they want their players to act like professionals at all times, whether they're on or off the ice. And this is the way the league needs to continue if it wants to be taken seriously as an eventual competitor to other European leagues. So great move, Milton Keynes. Whether it was the length of the suspension or it being Nickerson's last chance with the team that made you get rid of him, you absolutely made the right decision here and I commend your quick response to get this goon out of our league. Here's hoping other teams take notice and say that enough is enough. The Elite Ice Hockey League does not need this. And there you go. So I want to pass the question off to you guys. What do you think about the Nickerson suspension? Is it well deserved or is it a bit excessive? Do you think he should have stayed in the league or are you glad that he went? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.